Hi there, welcome back to Mr More PE. Today we're going to look at a very, very common topic that comes up in the GCSE exam called oxygen debt. And obviously if you have a debt, if you owe someone something, you owe them something. So in terms of oxygen in the body, we're talking about how we owe the body oxygen after exercise. So there's three key things you need to know about oxygen debt. We're going to go through it very concisely. This will be quite a short video. First of all, the definition. It's worth knowing this. Not necessarily word for word, but it's the amount of oxygen needed at the end of physical activity to break down any lactic acid. Okay, so that's the definition, so make sure you write that down. We'll post it in uh, underneath below. But in terms of the three things you need to know about oxygen debt, apologies for the squeaky pen. We'll go with this one, it's a little bit less squeaky. First of all, it's oxygen used in anaerobic exercise. And if you remember what the difference between aerobic and anaerobic is, Aerobic exercise is using oxygen, anaerobic is not using oxygen. So that's the first thing to think about, okay? The second mark is it's repaid at the end of activity. So it's repaid at the end. So for example, if a 400 meter runner runs, does a lap of the athletics track, the minute they finish, they're gonna take deep breaths in and they're gonna start repaying that oxygen that they owe the body because it's been working anaerobically. And this one's really, really important. This, this third mark is something that people often get wrong with oxygen debt in that it's, it's kind of as much oxygen as you can breathe in. So as much O2 as you can breathe in. So what will happen, if I just kind of show you behind the glass here, is a runner will run their event, they'll do it as fast as they can at the top of their ability, you know, maximum ability, and then they'll stop. And the minute they stop, they take huge breaths of oxygen in, and that's the oxygen debt, that's the debt that you're, you owe your body in terms of oxygen, that's what you're trying to replenish back into the system. So three key points, it happens anaerobically at the end, uh, it happens at the end of the event, and also it's repaying uh, the oxygen, getting it back into the body system, in deep breaths that you inhale into the system. So that's oxygen debt in a nutshell, make sure you know these three terms, like and subscribe, thank you very much.